How's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting series. And in this series, we're going to be implementing an authentication system in React and Django. So what's cool about this authentication system is that it's going to have functionalities like account verification. So when you go ahead and create an account with an email, you're actually going to be sent an email to verify that account so you can actually log into it. And you're also going to be having functionalities like password reset. So these are things you typically see on a production level application. So I'm going to be showing you how to actually implement this in your Django React application. So in order to implement this functionality, I'm going to be using a package called Joser or djoser. I don't know exactly how to say it, but basically it's a library that provides a set of views to handle basic actions such as registration, login, logout, password reset, and account activation. And also, it allows you to um, implement the authentication scheme using token-based authentication, or you can use JSON Web Tokens. And that is actually the way that I'm going to be doing it, so with JSON Web Tokens. So that should be pretty exciting. So um, basically, in order to help me out with this demo, I created two dummy email accounts. I have this John Doe 1357933. So this one is the one on the back end that's going to be sending out emails. So it's going to be um, giving you an email with a link to do things like verify your account or reset your password. And then I have this other dummy email, so John Doe 1357915. And this one is the one I'm going to be using to basically register an account on this application. So now let's go ahead and demo things out here. So John Doe, John Doe 1357915 at gmail.com. Gonna go ahead and copy that. Gonna set a password here. All right, let's go ahead and register. And now let's go ahead and try to sign in here. And we see that we're not able to sign in here. So of course, in a production level app, you'd also wanna have things like alerts to actually kind of let users know what exactly is going on, like why weren't they able to log in here. So I guess in the real application, I'd have something to do or like an alert such as verify your account or something like that. So if we go back into John Doe's email here, we see that he received an email, um, account activation on your domain here. So if we go ahead and click into this, we see that we get a link here. And then when we click on this link, we're navigated here where we say verify your account. So now we can go ahead and click on verify. So that should have taken care of the verification process. So now we should be able to actually log in with that account. So let's give it a try. So I'm going to click log in here and we see now that this is updated to log out and we're actually logged into this application. So that's pretty awesome. All right. So now let's go ahead and log out again and let's go log in and let's say now I forgot my password and it's like, damn, so what is my password? So here there is a link for if you forgot your password. So let's go ahead, click reset password here, put in that email and click reset password. Now, if we go back into John Doe's email, we see that previously we got an email that your account was successfully created and activated. So that let us know that we were able to log in now. And now we see this most recent message where it's our password reset on our domain. So within here, we see that we get a link where we can click that and reset our password. So we have new password and confirm new password. So I'm gonna set a new password here and reset password. And now let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to put in my old password first. And I'm not able to log in with that old password anymore. Let's put in the new password we just created. And there we go. I'm able to log in. Also, if I go back into the email, I should also get a um, email here that says your password has been successfully changed. All right. So that basically covers this whole application. It's very basic, of course. And in a real application, you'd want to add things like alerts, letting people know that they created an account successfully without issue or that they logged in or logged out or all that kind of stuff. But I kind of avoided doing that. I just wanted to make this as simple as possible. Just focus on implementing authentication where you have to verify an account and where you are able to reset a password. And that's all I wanted to kind of cover in this application. In a future video, I can show things like setting alerts, although I also showed how to create alerts in my first series. So if you're interested in that, you can always check that out. So yeah, if this looks like something you're interested in learning, then 
Leave this video a nice big like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next section where we actually start implementing this application. So see you then.